Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you editing, or basic editing, in Reaper. I have an audio file right here, and it sounds like this. It's just a simple acoustic guitar that I recorded to this track. Now, Reaper calls this an item or a media item, which is basically a container for audio, MIDI, or even video. And to edit it, we could drag it like this. We could turn on snapping right here and turn on the grid, and it will snap to our grid like this at bar two, bar three, and so on. Or we could turn those off and it will move freely on the timeline, which is up here. And we can copy and paste it like this. And everything we do in Reaper is non-destructive. So these multiple copies aren't gonna take up more room on our hard drive. And they're not deleted if we delete them from here. By cutting them or deleting them, we could still undo all of it at any time. Go to the edit menu, undo cut items, and we could undo multiple times to get it all back just like this. And we could see our undo history under edit, undo history, and we could see all the changes we made and get back to them this easily. Now, the way we edit in Reaper doesn't require that we choose tools. Up over here in the toolbar, we could do just about everything based on where we place our cursor. For example, we can grab our items and move them around, but if we want to trim the front, just put the cursor over here and it changes to a trim tool. So we could trim the front like this or the back on the right side like this, just by putting our cursor in that area of our items. And we can do the same thing with fading. Put the cursor in the upper left corner, the cursor changes to a fade tool. And we can create a fade in like this. And we could undo it by pulling it back and do the same thing on the other side to create a fade out. And drag it back out to remove the fade. We can also stretch our items, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and go right here to the side of the items. See how cursor changes again to a stretch tool and stretch it or constrain it to be faster. Or slower by dragging it from either side. Undo that, and we could also move the audio contents in this container or item without moving the item. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, the cursor changes to look like this, and we could just move the contents of the item like this forward and back, which is really helpful for lining up our transients to be right at the beginning of our items like this. And we could also split our items to edit them. Just place our cursor in the item, type S, and it's going to split the item at that point and as many points as we place it. Then we can copy and paste the split items to different sections separately. Or we can heal all our splits by double clicking the track to select them all and go to the item menu and choose Heal Splits in Items. And that heals all those items back to the way they were before. Now we could also duplicate items by dragging. Hold down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, 
and just grab the items and create copies or duplicate them just like this. Now, if you notice, when we move the items over each other, it creates a crossfade. So this item is fading out while this item is fading in. And that's on by default, right over here. But we could turn it off on the toolbar. And now if we move the items on top of each other, it's not going to create that crossfade. Instead, both items are going to play. So in Reaper, we could have multiple items playing at the same time on the same track. And to see it more clearly, we can go to the Options menu and choose Show Overlapping Media Items in Lanes. So we can see this more clearly in these different lanes. And both of these items are going to play on this track. And if we want to see it again in the same lane, just turn it off. Show overlapping media items in lanes. And they're still going to overlap and play from the same track. But if we don't want that behavior, we could choose another option. Trim content behind media items when editing. And this is off by default, but if we turn it on and we edit our items by placing this one on top of this one, it's going to trim this one. So it cuts this one off. Before, it looked like this, and we could drag it over, and it's going to trim this item based on where we drop it, like this. And now this item is cut off or trimmed. So with this option turned on, we're only going to hear one item on each track at a time. So if you prefer that workflow, just turn on this option. Trim content behind media items when editing. And again, it's off by default. Now this is also going to work with multiple items. We could select them by holding down Shift or Control on the PC or Command on the Mac if they're not next to each other. Or right-click drag to marquee, select them. Then we could edit them all at the same time. We could trim the left side and they all trim together or the right side. We could stretch them by holding down the modifier, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, to stretch them shorter or longer. And we can move the contents inside the items at the same time. So if we zoom in really close, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, we can move the contents from all the selected items at the same time. Great for lining up the start of our audio, with the beginning of our items. And we could also fade our items that start at the same place on our timeline or end at the same place like that. So we could work with multiple items if they're selected. But this is just editing full items. We could also work within items using razor editing. So in this project right here, Let's say we wanted to work with this drum track just from here to here. And we don't want to have to split it first. We can use razor editing instead. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and right click, drag. And that's going to create a razor edit. Notice how the cursor changes. Let go. And now we've created a razor edit. And we could treat this very similar to an item. We could delete it, we could cut it, we could copy it and paste it over here, and it just pastes that area we selected. We could also move it just by grabbing it to put it in a different place, maybe on a different track, 
we could duplicate it. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, to duplicate this area of the item. And we could trim the area right here, make it bigger or smaller. Even trim it up and down for multiple tracks or less. Or even stretch it, both on the PC, option on the Mac, to stretch it from either side. And we could raise or edit multiple tracks just by dragging it down and also multiple areas. Just create one and then add shift to add more selections. So on PC, it's Alt Shift, right click drag. And on Mac, it's Option Shift, right click drag. Like this. And they're going to behave the same way. We could delete them. And it just deletes that area, cut it, copy it, and paste it. And it just pastes that area we selected. And we can move it, duplicate it, trim it to change the area, delete different areas, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, to just remove those or alt shift the areas to delete those selections altogether. So it's very flexible to work within items without having to split them first, as we could treat them in a very similar way for editing. So that's pretty much it. That's editing or basic editing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!